for example let me create one program don't worry about uh, the transactions I'm using to create these programs and the steps I'm following I just focus on understanding the concept we'll be I'll be giving you an introduction to all these transactions how to create a program what are the different uh, attributes you set all these things we'll be seeing in a later session so for now just uh, focus on uh, the example I'm trying to show you So let's say, <clears throat> let's assume this is a standard SAP program, okay? And this program's functionality is to calculate or add two numbers, okay? Simple program. I'll write some code for that. You don't worry about what I'm writing. Let's just focus on the functionality of this application. Okay. Now, when I execute this program, it gives me two input fields where I can input two numbers, let's say two and five. And when I execute it, it will, what did I do? I do, I added P1 plus P2, sorry. So if I say 5 and 2, the result should be 7, right? So it is adding two numbers and displaying in the output. Let's assume this is a standard SAP program which SAP has delivered. And you can use this program to add two numbers, okay? It's just a very simple example I'm trying to give you so that you understand how this enhancement and modification concept works. Now. Most of the companies wants to add these numbers, so this functionality works for them. But in your company, you want to multiply these numbers. Instead of adding, the functionality is same, you want to input two numbers, but instead of adding those numbers, you want to multiply those numbers. And this is a standard SAP program, okay? With standard SAP programs, you cannot just go and change the program code, okay? Uh, for example, So, <laughs> so if you see, the moment I try to go to change mode, it is asking me something called an access key, okay? I have to input that access key, only then it will allow me to edit that program. Whereas if you create your own programs, you are free to change them. Uh, this is required because if something doesn't work with what SAP has provided, then SAP has to ensure that nobody has changed, the customer has not changed that program, but that they need to have a way to identify whether the customer has changed it or not. So if you modify it, then SAP will simply say that since you have modified the program, we won't be able to provide you support with that. But if you haven't modified it, and if the standard SAP program is having some bug, then it's the SAP's responsibility to fix that bug. So let's assume this is a standard SAP program. If, if to make this program to multiply these two numbers, I have to make one small change in the code. So here instead of plus, I have to multiply them. Instead of adding, I have to remove plus and put star. This is a small change I have to make. 
But if I go to change mode in a standard SAP program and do this, that is called modification because you are actually changing the original program code where you have to give the access key and you're modifying the code. And there are two issues with that. One is SAP may deny support if, if something else doesn't work uh, with that program, which is not related to your changes, but still SAP, since you have modified it, may say that, okay, since you have modified it, we may not provide support. Or else, when you're upgrading this system, then whatever changes you're making to the standard SAP program will be lost. So after upgrading, you have to come back and reapply those changes to the program. Okay, so if you do too many modifications, then your upgrade project will also take that long because you have to first make sure that all your changes are captured and then after upgrading, you come back and reapply those changes, right? So the more modifications you do, the more time it will take for your upgrade. So it won't be an easy upgrade. Whereas if you don't do modifications, then it will be much easier to upgrade your system. Okay, so if I go to the change mode, for example, if, if this is a standard SAP, uh, program, it will be in display mode and to make changes to the code, I can simply go to the change mode, give an access key and it will allow me to edit the code. Then I can write my code. I can comment out whatever SAP code is there and write my own logic there. So that is called modification. So if, if SAP has written the code, the original program this way, then there is no other option than modifying this program. But there is another way I can do this. Okay. Let me show you that. Again, don't worry about what I'm doing. Uh, just focus on understanding the example. I'll be showing you all this, what whatever pop-ups are coming, what what actions I'm uh, taking on those pop-ups. I'll be showing you all that when I when we discuss about these uh, applications in detail. For now, just uh, focus on understanding the example. So I'm actually trying to create something called a function module. If you are no new to programming, don't worry about it. We'll see what is function module and all these things. So what I've done is I've actually created one function module, which is taking two input parameters and returning one result parameter. So whatever input it is getting in those field one and field two, I'm adding those numbers and sending back a result to the calling program. So in this program, instead of directly writing the calculation logic in the main program, we are assuming that this is the standard program. So instead of doing it, what I'll do is I leave that logic to an external function module. Sorry. And to this, I'll pass my program parameters. Again, don't worry if you're not understanding what I'm doing. You'll understand it later. So I've just changed the way I'm designing this program, 
that's all i'm doing in the first case i kept the business logic if you are assuming that uh, adding two numbers is our business logic then i kept the business logic as part of my main program okay now i have changed it to keep the business logic in one function module and call that function module in my main program so i'm no more calculating the numbers in my program i'm handing over that task to an external function module so what sap will do is this is their standard program they'll design it in such a way but they will be calling one function module or a method which will be in the customer namespace and right now if i execute this program let's say 2 and 5 it is showing me the result as 7 as before because here i'm uh doing the same thing for example if you want to see that in uh, see this in debug mode we'll do that whatever uh, values i am entering on the screen are transferred to my program uh, to those uh, fields p1 and p2 this is my main program that is running when when it encounters this statement call call function then it will go and execute the code that we have maintained in this function module so for example now if i execute this statement so here you can see our function module was called and it is executing whatever code was written in that function module and once that is done it will come back to our program okay and execute the rest of the code so i've changed the design a little bit instead of directly calculating the numbers uh, values in my main program i'm delegating that task to a function module now if i now if i want to multiply these numbers do i need to change anything in the main program if we are assuming this is the standard sap program do i need to make any changes here to make it uh, multiply those numbers instead of adding those numbers without really changing anything in this program i can achieve it by simply changing the code in this function module which is called by that program right so here i'll change it to multiplication now if i execute this program i really haven't changed anything here i did not modify this program the code is same as what sap provided but since sap is now calling a function module which is which we can uh, edit because it is giving us in a customer namespace again i'll talk about this namespace in a in a while so without really changing a single line of code in the main program i can still achieve the functionality i want from this application so if i if i now execute this program instead of adding it should multiply those two numbers i'll also be giving you introduction to this debugger later so that you understand what you're doing so now you can see the result is 10 so it is adding so <clears throat> enhancement concept works this way so while designing itself sap anticipates that okay at this point people may want to do different uh, do things differently so let's give them some opening so they'll instead of writing the logic directly in the main program they'll call one external uh, you know function or a procedure and then they'll put the logic there so, and the customers are free to go and edit that okay so this this we call as openings so wherever sap has anticipated and given us that those openings we can take advantage of that to enhance the standard sap applications behavior if sap has not anticipated and if it has not given us any openings then we cannot do anything apart from just going and modifying that program right so there are different ways to enhance a standard sap applications to meet your requirements so we'll be discussing all that in greater detail as we progress in this course but uh, i just wanted to show you what the basic difference between a modification and an enhancement so in modification you are actually going and directly editing the standard sap code uh, which will uh, put you in danger of facing issues when upgrading the system because your changes would be lost or else sap may withdraw support for those programs because you have modified it and uh, the second option is if sap has given us this uh, enhancements in the program then we can use those enhancements we can implement this those enhancements to change the functionality of the application okay and the third scenario is new